All right, Shalom. It's the brothers from the GMS North Carolina, North Carolina Raleigh camp. I got the brother Nakam with me. Okay, but first and foremost, before we get started, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahashem. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Double shalom to all you Akim and you Akwa, those of the hopeful elect that are seeking for salvation. Let me do uh, get a favor, uh, brother, if you will. Let me get Psalm 96 and uh, 4. So we're living in times where all credit is and will be given to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus. There's no such thing as Mother Nature. We need to make that clear. You got all these different outlets, you know, speaking about Mother Nature because the uh, abnormal things that are be ha that has been happening lately with the earthquakes and diverse places and the uh, fearful storms. Let's let's not get it twisted. It's coming from Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, and the world's gonna know that. When you get it, read it. That's right. This is Psalm chapter ninety-six, verse four. For the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, is great and greatly to be praised. Mm -hmm. He is to be feared above all gods. Yeah, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai is is great and greatly to be praised. All these idols that these people, man-made, vain thoughts that they put together and crafted, handcrafted, these people are bound to, that bound down to and worshiping, they're going to realize, these people are going to realize who the true and living power is. Who's the one that's bringing these storms, these tempests, fire, hell, rain, floods. Remember the floods that have been happening recently, bro? Yep. These people are going to learn. And they're going to, and the Lord will be feared above these idols. And these idols will be destroyed come soon. Read on to verse 5. Okay. Verse 5. For all the gods of the nations are idols. Mm -hmm. But the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah Shai, made the heavens. Now how can you top now, that? You can't top that, man. Okay. Our power, Yahweh Bashimah Shai, made the heavens. Okay. Now, let me get um, Isaiah 28 and 2, if you will. And then we're going to go to Isaiah 29 and 6. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 28, verse 2. Behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashimah Washai, have a mighty and strong one, mm -hmm. which as a tempest, of hell and it is destroying storm yeah a tempest of yeah. hell tempest represents a violent storm a violent storm of hell so when you see like in different areas there have been hell storms you know hell coming down the size of golf balls destroying like windshields and things of that nature destroying roofs and stuff that's the lord doing that a destroying storm one example of that is our tornadoes and hurricanes so it's saying, behold, meaning, look, the Lord have a mighty and strong one, which as a tempest of hell and destroying storm, meaning when, when you see these things happening, you already know, you should know who the source of that is coming from. It ain't no damn mother nature, man, which is a made up term from these people. This is coming from Yahweh by Shemiah Read on. Mm -hmm. It says, and it is destroying storm as a flood of mighty waters. Mm hmm. Overflowing. Remember those floods? Yes. Yep. This, yep. That took out New York and New Jersey. Uh, you had just different things happening with abnormal things. Oh, over in Greece too as well. I think there were fires out there and floods. Okay, this is the Lord visiting the earth. Read on. It says <laughs> over waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with a hand. With with the hand, okay. So meaning the Lord is the one behind all these things, you know, sending forth angels to bring forth these these different um, storms and different weather patterns that you're seeing. You know, when um, when when there's a hell storm or a snow storm or, you know, something major that goes on it, it's is coming from the Lord. The Lord is ordaining everything. OK, now bring out that Isaiah twenty nine and six. Uh, this is Isaiah 
Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, which I host with thunder and with earthquake. Yo, you got it, bro. Come, right, I'm gonna read that again. This is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, which host means army, with thunder. So those loud thunders that you hear in the sky, you know, those boom. That's the Lord visiting the earth. You see, those thunders that make you afraid, that sends those chills down your body. That's the Lord doing that. It says, and with earthquake, there's constantly earthquakes happening in diverse places. Everywhere you turn around, there's an earthquake. Just as the scripture said it would. It says, and great noise, and those thunders, those thunders, those earthquakes, they make great noise. They're loud. It says, and with the flame of devouring fire. Now, these flame of devouring fire, which are these forest fires. You're constantly seeing forest fires happening all around the four corners of the earth. This is the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Hashanah got a Bible doing this. Like the brother Ross said, it's not Mother Nature. It's not a coincidence. It's the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Hashanah doing these things. Yep. And and if, I think you missed a spot too. It says Isaiah twenty nine and six. It says with storm and tempest, you know, um, and the flame of devouring fire, uh, devouring fire. Okay, tempest again represents a violent storm. So, hey, the Lord can get violent when need be, man. You know, you seeing lightning strikes, people getting struck down by lightning. What's the odds of that, bro? That's a, that's a judgment for your ass. And in fact, that word visited. Let me bring that out. I know the brother Kazat, you know, brought it out a few times recently. Okay, when you go to the concordance of it, it says um, to muster, to attend, to number, to punish. So one of the ways the Lord is punishing these people is by the, using the elements such as, you know, as you mentioned through the spirit, thunder, earthquakes, which the scriptures say earthquakes is at all time high, you know, one of the signs of the end times. And then, as you mentioned through the spirit and read in Isaiah 29 to 6, the fame of devouring fire, house fires. You know, these, yo, you see and Jake getting getting done in with these house fires in Philly and in New York. The Lord is sending a spirit created for vengeance. Matter of fact, let's close out on that. Um, Sirach 29 and I believe 28. Let's just hit the point. Matter of fact, we'll start at 28 and then read down. You know, because that is a spirit created for vengeance, you know, and, and who owns these spirits? <laughs> Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. When you get it, go ahead and um, you know where to start. Um, this is the rock chapter. I think it's 39, 39 and 28. Yeah, you're right. This is the rock chapter 39. You said go straight to the point. Um, hit, hit, hit 28 and then read down to 29. Okay. So Rod said at 39 verse 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Mm -hmm. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force mm -hmm. and appease the wrath of him that made them. And who made these spirits created for vengeance? Okay. That are uh, in their fury lay on on sore strokes. <laughs> All credit goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We're gonna keep calling on those names through the spirit, you know, Lord willing, we're some of those men that we endure. So that's why we always remind ourselves through the spirit to fear the Lord, reverence the Lord, and do what the Lord requires of us to do as Israelites, you know, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, to fear him, to reverence him, to keep his ways to the best of our ability. Because he owns these spirits. And if you don't do what is required of us to, you know, as Israelites to do, the, you could, we could very well get caught up in the wrath of the Lord. OK, because these spirits created vengeance are appeasing the Lord's anger for those who are disobedient. OK, read on verse 29. Mm -hmm. Fire and hell. That's it. Fire <laughs> and hell. Two of the elements that we read about when Isaiah 29 and 6. OK. Uh, uh, devouring fire, hailstorms, read about in um, Isaiah 28 and 2. These are elements that the Lord is using as a spirit created for vengeance. Read on. Yep. And famine. Mm hmm. And death. Mm hmm. All 
these were created for vengeance. So also famine, a shortage of food. And the Lord is nothing for the Lord to bring a drought. Oh, it's nothing for the Lord to send forth rain and hailstorm to destroy crops so that way you can't supply food to the citizens. It's nothing for the Lord to do that. There's many accounts that, of that in the Bible, but that just goes to show you, you know, uh, how powerful the Lord is. I mean, his ways, his power is beyond our imagination. It's unlimited. He's an omnipotent power. So it shouldn't be far fetched that these different things that are happening, like, you know, earthquakes in diverse places. OK, is is a uh, man made. You no, know, the Lord could allow Esau to have certain technology to push out. You know, you got the heart project. But who get who who set up the wicked? The Lord did. The Lord said everything was created. Um, it skips to say um, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord has created everything unto himself. Yea, even the wicked. OK, for, for the day of evil. So all these different things that we see happening on the face of the earth, we're particularly focusing on. You know, uh, storms and hell storms and, and, you know, weather patterns and all these things that are happening is coming from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, you have a precept you want to bring out, right? Yeah, and I actually got one more if you don't mind, Bible so. Yeah, bring out bring out the one you got, and then I know you want to get Psalm 83rd chapter. Yes, sir. All right, this is Psalm chapter 115, verse 3. But our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is in the heavens. Yep, got it. He have done. He have done whatsoever he had pleased. Yep, yep. And Lord does whatever He pleases, and then He pleases to show His power through these elements that He's uh, sending on Earth. And then that's what He wants to do. And, and everything that we're seeing is is the Lord's will. And these people, everyone's going to fear. You see, the hopeful elect is starting to fear first, right? And then you're going to see the increase of fear through the judgments. The different miracles, the abnormal things that the Lord is going to be displaying in these times. Okay, is something you want to add to that? Nah, you, you hit it right on the head, brother. Con, con. You ready for that song, song 83? Let's do it. Con, this is Psalm 83, verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest. Yeah, persecute them with thy tempest, violent storms. Destroy they ass, their asses, man. All of our enemies from these heathen nations. Because you when you read higher in that particular um, chapter, it talks about how these nations made a league to come against the Israelites, us. And they're still doing it to this day. So when the Lord comes back, he's going to come back as a whirlwind, okay, to render his anger. So when the Lord comes back, there's going to be elements that's going to be popping off um, destructive winds, you know, lightning strikes is going to be a glorious appearance. And we're praying the Lord destroys our enemies and, and, and puts fear in them when he comes. You got it. Mm -hmm. Psalm said 83 verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest mm -hmm. and make them afraid with <laughs> thy storm. That word persecute <laughs> means to to be behind, to follow after, pursue. <laughs> to run after so Lord is going to be on, the, on their asses man when he comes back and you're seeing he's on the, their ass now you know with the uh, end time prophecies uh, taking place you know uh, these different things that are happening um, catastrophic events like earthquakes it'll, it can destroy a whole city and cause Esau to use m many of his resources to rebuild that city back the Lord is on their ass man he's persecuting them okay Read the last part again. Mm -hmm. It says, and make them afraid with thy storm. Yeah, and the Lord's making them afraid with, his st with the storm. Because, you know, you, you look at even the, the um, backdrop that I have through spirit. You know, it's fearful, man. You see lightning strikes and things of that nature and different, different shapes of clouds. You know, you know, chariots are within those clouds, those angels that, you know, mm -hmm. the Lord is sending out, you know, a command to. You know, for a particular area to receive that uh, that the lightning strikes and the different whirlwinds, it's making these people afraid. You know, so ain't no mother nature doing this. You gonna learn, man. For those of of, of these people out here, don't don't realize we know through the spirit, and these people gonna learn come soon who's really behind all this. Anything you want to say, bro? Before we close out. <laughs> Sorry, Bubba, sorry. I want to finish up from sixteen. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just read 15 again and then go to 16. Mm -hmm. It's verse 15. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm 
verse 16, fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Yahweh, by Shemabashah. Ooh, now let me read the NLT version of that. Psalm 83 and 16, NLT says, utterly disgrace them until they submit to your name, O Lord. So these MFers are going to submit to Yahweh by Shemabashah through fear. All right. And one of the ways is going to be the Lord visiting the earth through storm and tempest, you know, bringing bringing violent elements upon these people that they will fear and submit to Yahweh by Shemabashah. OK, beautiful precept, bro. Hey, hey, so with that being said, before we close out, all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Dash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. Shalom. Shalom.